welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principal. First of all, great and great news. <coughs> the time is upon us. We all have been waiting for this time. And it's time to actually buy gold and silver. I have been uh, bearish on gold and silver both. I was expecting the, for the prices of gold especially to go further down. But my analysis has seemed uh, that it is not going to go down. The prices are holding in this area right now, 1737 area. I was able to trade all this correction, wave 4 correction, and we are going to discuss. The major news is, if you are unaware of Elliott Wave Analysis, and uh, the major thing is that I think, I think finally we are at the moment uh, where it's time to buy gold and silver. Where exactly the price target of or the, the buying purchase, uh, I mean the exact price uh, for gold to buy, I think we are somewhere around just within a $100 reach. Uh, and I think uh, one of the major importance uh, support lies right around 1675. We are definitely going to discuss more. Uh, and silver as well. I believe that we are at a very, very important juncture. I believe that this low end, pardon me. I believe that this low end is not going to break now. I done some studies, the prices, if prices were actually going to go strong, uh, the signature of the prices would be different. I was expecting for the prices to go further down, but not anymore. As per my analysis now, I'm updating that analysis. I do not expect the prices of gold and silver to go down further. Uh, it looks to me that silver is going to ga uh, gain uh, is at a place where we can actually buy silver uh, however you want to do that that's European that's your choice whether you want to buy uh, bullion fields or, uh, silver or you want to buy it on CFDs or any other form or future contracts so now that there is a this is a significant change of uh, a forecast that I have done I am also going to revise my US dollar index basket currency uh, as well we are seeing some negative like some uh, some bearish action in US dollar index basket currencies but I think that's only temporary uh, that is means that we are only around the tail end of the price action so before we actually go on and uh, discuss further uh, I need to look at the gold and explain you what actually is happening on a, on a daily time frame let's come on to the daily time frame so first of all uh, at the moment everybody was quite bullish at the top I was uh, of a point that no the price action was not supporting the uh, bullish concern I mean, if it was more kind of a sideways price action then that probably the immediate uh, rush would be upward instead we have all probably seen about nine months of uh, going nowhere we have seen prices tilted forward further down but you can see that it has not significantly dropped it is still a good buy as compared to if you are considering 2075. Right now it is around 1740, which is around 340, 350 dollars uh, per ounce. So it's a good deal to buy, not uh, not at the top, but actually in this region. Uh, as far as the Elliott Wave analysis is concerned, I was expecting uh, that the prices would actually fall down, and they have done so. But the the nature they have uh, fallen down it looks at least that this is not wave 3 whatever it is it is not wave 3 and which when that option comes in mind then the only major concern uh, the only major alternate labeling count I have is considering that we have considered this as a W we have to consider it as a expanded flat and it's X and then we can consider this as Y right over here uh, or ending right over here and then we can consider this as X and the question is that either the wave Z has completed right over here a zigzag or not so we'll discuss that right now there is a possibility now that we have come to it uh, so before we go on and we'll dis I'll discuss this thing as well a little more so the major question now arises what will actually confirm the uh, the bullish uh, breakout now I have uh, I've used this trend line in uh, in my past videos as well here we can see we have one uh, two three and four connecting points we can actually probably can bring it a little closer if you guys want or you can actually draw a zone on it right kind of thing like as well if you guys can't want you can do that 
let me have a quick look so a small zone can be drawn and then we can use that zone as well okay here you go so if you guys want you guys can use this zone but this is definitely a good indication if prices can cross this very easily and that's actually looking forward to it now that the more chances of this happening whether the price will fall down and then go up we still have to discuss it but right now as far as the technical trend is itself is concerned apart from the Elliott wave analysis this is looking more probable now that we have kind of completed the uh, or we are about very very close to the completion of the the side waves uh, that actually started right from over here so basically if you look at the price action we have not even able to cross the first support level that actually means that we are very very bullish for gold as far as uh, trend analysis is concerned you can consider it as W X Y now it, there now at this point two things are possible that either the Y is finishing right over here in that case we have wave 1 and this is wave 2 and this is the um, labeling that it says that means that we should small carry on with smaller wave 1 and smaller 2 and upward uh, there is also a second possibility that we have not completed uh, the correction that actually started right from over here in in this region and that would actually make it as X so this is the alternate count you can select either one of them and and I think it's a better idea to consider it as a technical analysis right now and use that to take a trade because right now the waves are very very messy on a smaller time frame so once again it's your decision how you want to do it but right now we have to look for the price action if price action clearly clarifies over there that will mean that we have created a bottom right over here for the correction but at least one thing is clear if I want to buy I actually I have separated my own portfolio and I'm going to uh, spend about most about 80 percent 85 percent of that into uh, the bullion form instead of doing the CFD, CFD or futures it's, uh, it's very good in but the problem is the risk is too high in CFD I'm still going to continue the trade on CFD and futures uh, but I'm definitely definitely moving to uh, bullion I was uh, looking for the bottom and I think we are very very close right now if you consider it is trading at 1738 and if we, and if we consider the hundred dollar uh, distance then that will be around 1638 let's uh, draw that let's make it 1640 okay even so I believe that 1640 is a is a good margin, and I believe that prices are not going to even if they come. Let's say they break 1675. I believe that they should not be falling below 1640. This is the very just below the support area. So I, it's your decision once again. You want to buy right over here, or you want to waiting for the price action and it goes right over here, and then you want to buy over here, or you're waiting for the price action and it decides to fall further down, and you want to buy over here or over here in this region. But I think a hundred dollar if you're buying an investment for uh, holding a uh, long term especially the bullion form a hundred dollar per ounce is not a it should not be the decider uh, for for you to when to buy we are seeing I'm seeing a similar behavior in uh, and this is only because of uh, gold I was of a point that we will be able to easily break this support it looks like now that because gold and silver go along and it looks like that no there is not a chance that we are going to break that that means that we have to come up with the with this idea that we have already created a bottom right over here which we were saying uh, but the major point is we were expecting C to be right over here now I will uh, bring C wave C right over here so as you guys can see we have basically some sort of complex correction right over here uh, you can basically consider it as W X and Y is a side wave price crack, uh, action as far as the price confirmation is concerned uh, I believe that we should not be falling below uh, especially in this range around 19 uh, 1950-ish so basically you should not be falling in below the what, what right right now uh, the prices are which is around 21 seven, 22 17 and the prices support holds at 21 60 I believe so I'm expecting that the prices probably would not fall below if in the case they just make a spike it would just be a spike and the prices should continue going upward 
we can see that the support comes uh, previous this one comes right over here 2491 and then we can also use a diagonal line to draw the support right over here so whichever you guys want to use and I believe it looks to me that right now that we probably are right at the very close of the uh, quite lengthy uh, sideways price movement for silver and I believe that either we are very very close to the bottom or we probably have already formed the bottom uh, especially for the correction so this is my this is significant significant change from where I was strongly bearish to right now believe now that no bear action bearish action is not going to happen uh, we are definitely seeing some negative uh, price action from uh, US dollar uh, I mean US dollar basket currencies I can see the pattern that Canadian dollar is becoming weaker as well and I can also see a similar pattern occurring on a British pound as well so I believe that this is going to be temporary so we are going to look on uh, where exactly things are uh, if the prices actually can fall below in this region uh, that would be really amazing but I do not think so that's gonna happen uh, prices are kind of somewhere in the very low range right now let's see what happens but right now where I was thinking that the the trend is kind of normal and is strongly bearish I'm right now of the point that no we are very very close to the uh, end of the bearish tra trend in uh, British pound euro and Canadian dollar so my point right now is if you are bearish uh, be really careful take most of your profits leave just a bit of trade running that's my point of view once again I was in a trade where I was just came out of the trade I was in a gold bearish trade and I just closed the trade I'm gonna wait for further price action in gold uh, and then you'll see where the price head on from there but this is uh, I wanted to just uh, give the indication of as soon as I realized that you know my analysis is not right things are not looking great as we thought they would because uh, when I look at this price action combine that with the jump that has happened all of this is indicating that something is significantly wrong there is a possibility we will fall back down now combining this price action itself along with the jump is just confusing me a lot right now and I do not think that we are actually going to the bearish action next few days are very very important I went on and did some more research and realized that uh, my analysis for long term uh, bearish in gold and silver was wrong and I wanted to uh, come forward and do it correctly as soon as possible wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye